Hey, welcome to Coding with Walther. I have an idea here. I'm not quite sure it's going to work, and I'm afraid that if I tell you what it is, I'm not going to get it done, which is typical. But anyway, another coding idea, kind of uh, relevant to what I did last time. So anyway, let me show you what I'm thinking about, and we'll go from there. So in the last video we were talking about, I had this image right here in which I was doing a gradient. And I thought, you know, it would be cool if I could move the gradient with the mouse. But the problem with that is, is that I can't then use my technique here of just drawing concentric circles, because obviously if the mouse point is over here, it's not going to be concentric circles. So start with an idea. Always, always sketch things out. So I came down to here and I said, what if the mouse was here? And I started drawing out vectors. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to deal with vectors, which is coming into the project. And the vectors come out like this, come out, come out, come out, come out. And cool. Well, what can I do? Um, again, um, I don't know how to do a gradient as a color fill um, without writing a custom function. First thought was, well, maybe I could create a palette. And probably the correct way to do this is create a palette, create an image palette, and then you know shade out from a point in color palette and then mask off the shape, the outside shape you want. It's probably the correct way to do it. I don't feel like doing that. But I said, what if I draw a bunch of triangles? So that's where I'm going to go for today. I'm going to draw triangles. And I said, okay, but if I draw a triangle, if I come up with a triangle, I'm going to end up wanting to, you know, have same radius with a line coming across, and then I can do a gradient fill with that. So I'll start with my darker color here and go to a lighter color, just drawing this series of triangles by adjusting the fill like I did last time. Probably not the best way to do it, but it's the way I'm thinking about doing it. So got to mess with vectors, and that's where we're going to the code so far. So I kind of want to talk about that, talk about this code. Um, so far it is not working, okay? Um, and we're going to go through this code in a little bit, but let's talk about why this might not be working. Um, also, doing this in JavaScript, not my favorite thing in the world. JavaScript is so promiscuous in its permissions. I just don't... I'm, Sorry, I grew up programming in C, uh, recently learned Java, and I just kind of like that a whole lot better. Um, you know, at least Python is has rules that it follows. Mm, I don't know. People can disagree. So anyway, um, creating a class called shape. Just to, When I construct it, it just finds the center of the shape. And then I'm going to create a vector. And I'm just as, just as just attempt to say, can I draw a vector? That's where I'm at now. Um, and it's not working because I think the origin of this vector, the x, y component, is not where I want it to be. In a moment and fix it. But just in the speaking of things, and you guys, I'll talk about the duck later, but you guys are great ducks. Just speaking about this, I realize why these lines right here aren't working because that's just giving me a pure x, y. And I need that x, y in reference to the center point because I have a vector, but it needs to know where its center is. So I think I just fixed this problem. Be back in five. Okay, so here's what was going wrong. Um, over here on the code, um, these two variables right here. So I was creating a vector, and a vector is, as we all know, because we've seen um, that one movie with the little yellow minions things, um, vector is both magnitude and direction. So I was having magnitude and direction, of which I was getting into x and y component of. That's fine, but this is not x and y to the origin of what I was drawing. So if we look at lines 14 and 15 in the code here, um, I just calculate that, take the center, and add it, and add it. Um, if you look at line 7 real quick in the code, um, I'm turning everything to degrees because processing by default is in um, radians. And I want to do physics-based things. So the real world use degrees, and math use radians because, well, it's 2 pi. And then at some point, we'll talk about the tyranny of pi and how we should have the tau manifesto. That's a different story for a different day. But, cool little thing. I'm going to let you watch me do this. Um, I'm going to make it so that this is a clock face. Um, and it's not hard to do. Again, in processing, you have a setup and a draw. Setup is done once. Draw is uh, an iterative loop. It gives you interactive loops. So watch what happens. Um, I'm going to take my... Well, I'm going to leave that there. Um, and we are going to make this... Oops. We are going to make this go around in a circle. So uh, at some point we need to talk about let versus var and mer. 
uh, angle. I'm going to start this at zero uh, degrees. Cool. In fact, I'm going to start this at zero degrees, which would be in the upright position, so we rotate in the positive. Okay, and then um, we will. Ooh, what will this work? Copy, paste. Uh, I've already did. Let's see. I don't know. Um, I global versus local variables. We'll see how this works. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to take this as the angle. Okay. And then we're going to say angle plus equal. Let's go by increments of three. Let's see how that works. Let's go. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, oh, zero is in the downwards position. Hmm. Downward facing dog. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I need to make that a global variable. Um, and that's why it's not liking it. Uh, because it's in the setup function. Uh, yeah, this is one of those issues that uh, I, my JavaScript is not good enough. I'm going to have to come back to this. Okay, so I'm stuck here, and obviously what's the first thing you should do when you're stuck? Well, Google it, and that's what I do. Okay, so <clears throat> making the de declaration of the object here, and then actually creating the object down there. And notice the output at the bottom left, um, printing out the statements. And the zero, well, it ain't changing, and it should be changing. I mean, that's what the la last line of code should be doing. It's going to dawn on me in a second, but uh, notice what I'm going to do here. This is a very powerful technique. Yes, folks. That's a print statement, and print statements are beautiful. It's realizing, why is it always zero? Oh, look two lines above. Yep, move the line of code up there, and beauty. I want you to notice that I was totally off on which way um, rotation is, and I totally forgot my math, but watch. Um, rotation is counterclockwise as the alpha gets bigger. Or not the alpha, the angle. So um, also, there's a quick. There's you can if you notice what's going on with the colors. Um, there's some alpha values on my RGB, which is kind of fun, but not what I want. But that's a cool effect. Uh, God, I love processing. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here just to go over some things to change. Um, the gradient fill is not done, but it is going to come in the next video, but I got other things I got to get done today. So let me just kind of look over the code real quick with y'all. So a couple of things going on here. Um, making a global variable, setting that. Just I like putting variables in places where I can find them so I don't have to dig into my code. Um, the shape knows its center point and its fill color. Uh, we ignore that one. That's the old one that I tested with, and here's the new stuff. So uh future expansion so i'm going to have this to be able to turn on as a option so right now i'm just um, overriding that and do that um anyway for future expansion and so uh so the thing to draw a triangle need three points i already know the center so i just need to calculate the first two points and the second points and these are offset by a delta so we have the angle and then we have the offset to the angle, and that's what that delta that you are seeing right there is. I don't want to stroke on this, I want to set a fill color, and then we simply just draw a triangle with these three points. So, I've been teasing it, I've been teasing it, but where does this go from? Um, I like the dynamic effect I was getting earlier with uh, making it pop, 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 rotate around. Now, in the final uh, video of this, in the final video of this, what's going to happen is... Um, Listen to me, be optimistic here. Each of those are going to be butting up against each other, and there'll be a gradient out. And I'll probably turn the alpha off so that we don't get that effect. But that's where I'm going to leave it today. Let's see where I go. So a little bit different than where I started from yesterday, but let's see where we end up today. So again, once again, fun little effect.